What's up, everybody? I got an exciting video tonight. Which is good, because today was my Monday. Back to my amazing job. So it's always nice to have boxes to come home to. Today wasn't too bad. There's a few inmate workers right now that Freaking loud. Like they just have this uncontrollable urge to talk extremely loud. The kitchen's so loud. But hey, whatever. Subscribe. Picked up a uh, few new subs over the last few days thanks to that Pop King Paul mystery box. If you have not yet done so, and I'm sure you have, um, that video is up. The $400 Pop King Paul mystery box. We did all right. It was sad and happy. So I got back more than the value of the box. I got $435 worth of pops, which is awesome. I got a personal top hole, which Again, I can't remember seeing this listed, but the first pop that I pulled out of there was the Flying Monkey from The Wizard of Oz. I was so excited to get this. I felt the same way about this as I did that Emerald Chrome Batman. And Chalice is dropping a mystery box tomorrow. One of their, well this one's actually a $20 a box run but there's 500 of them and one of the grails is the metallic flying monkey winged monkey tempted but there's like a, a 1 in 500 chance of getting that and the rest there's like 9 grails and then 491 inventory dumps. Actually, there's like three other ones that you have. I don't remember what they are. There's like a Michael Jordan, there's a signed pop. There's a few other ones that are of much lower value than the grails that were listed. <coughs> but seriously, there's like 980 of a lot of the Chalice exclusive anime pops. And I don't really feel like getting another Chalice exclusive glow in the dark Vegeta. I've already gotten four of them. And the likelihood of getting another one or one of the other anime pops is just so high. I don't know. <coughs> Lack of funds might hinder me to even do that anyway because um, we got some pretty valuable pops out of that Pop King Ball Mystery Box which everybody did I got two NBA pops which I'm just kind of like meh even though one of them was worth $170 it was just uh, not very exciting I was really hoping to get several of the ones that I have spent a lot of time talking about and putting up pictures I would have loved to have gotten that sloth with the Superman shirt on that would have been pretty cool I would have been so excited to get the bloody Rorschach or the bank robber Joker 2 pack but no I got Rondo and then I got LeBron in a purple Cleveland jersey and then I got, those are already gone. I've already, those, it's crazy. That Rondo Pop, I put it up for sale on eBay. So I was talking to somebody about buying it through Instagram, but they hesitated. I figured it was out of their price range. I got to make money. Problem solved. Don't remember what I was talking about. Oh. Yeah, I put up the Rondo on eBay for the current PPG price. 
Um, there has been several recent sales around $200 on that bad boy, but mine did have a little bit of box damage, so I put it up for PPG. It was very descriptive and open about the damage. Did that inside the house. As soon as that went live, I got up, went outside, and before I could even sit down, it sold. So obviously somebody has an active search for new NBA items, and they got the notification, they're like, that's mine, they bought it, boom, and then he sent me a message, said, hey, whatever, what other NBA pops do you have? And I said, it's funny you should ask. I got the LeBron. Like, how much do you want for it? I told him. He's like, okay, list it, and I'll buy it. Sure enough, listed it, bought it, boom. So, that was sweet. I have not posted this yet. Um, some people did communicate that they would be interested in a Waffle Opagus. I did put this up for Waffle Opagus, but there were no bites. And apparently, a lot of people's payday is tomorrow. So... I'm going to put out an interest post, and if enough people say that they want to purchase, I'll go ahead and make this live. Otherwise, I'll put this up on eBay. One thing I didn't do or realize, I did start it at $15 a spot, but it does have the Funko crease on the back. Right along here, there's a little indentation with a minor crease because of that indentation. So, um, this will not be a $15 a spot. Waff, I'll probably do $13. So, because the PPG on this is $115. I figure with the damage back here, which fortunately it's on the back. So, the front is beautiful. The figure itself is beautiful. But, the standard price that you put on WAFs is 35% above PPG. So, $13 spot, $130. Bucks. It's a good deal. Uh, but man, this wing monkey. Now I just need all the rest of the Wizard of Oz pops. But I think their total PPG, not including the metallic ones, is like... 700, 800 bucks. So it's going to take a while to acquire those. The Cowardly Lion, the Tin Man, and the Scarecrow. You can get those for a hundred, right around a hundred dollars. But the Dorothy with Toto, the Wicked Witch, and Glenda. Those are up there. It'd be so cool to have the metallic. Wing Monkey. I had the opportunity of picking that up a few months ago on a drop. And I should have because the drop price was like 380 bucks and now he has a value of 680 So it's insane that that thing has jumped so much. Um, funny, Chrono, not Chrono. Sorry. Oh, before we go into that, there is a reveal today of a future release, which is the 10-inch <coughs> Chrome Mandalorian with the child. I screwed up bad on the Amazon exclusive Chrome Mandalorian because I had it pre-ordered, and then somebody told me that if you order things as a gift, they ship them better, which is actually not true. But, so when I went to go try to change it, I ended up canceling the order, and of course, it was gone. So, but I did pre-order that 10-inch pop, and uh, I think that was a good investment, because I love the show, just not going to be collecting them, so that'll be a fun waffle -opagus. It's not scheduled to get here until October 2nd, so we got a while to wait. Hopefully I'm still alive when that thing's released. But, 
But anyway, Smyrold and Spastic did drops yesterday. The Smyrold one was a $25 hit or miss mystery box. The Spastic was a $59 guaranteed value mystery box. The hunt for... Let's pause this and check it out. So it was the Spastic Collectibles Blind Boxes featuring the Disney Grails, Mr. Toad, OG Steamboat Willie, and the OG Donald Duck. It'd be cool to get one of those, obviously, because they're pretty valuable. But you can't go wrong with a guaranteed value Mr. Box. So, And they... Okay, that was yesterday. They shipped them this morning so that's probably going to get here Monday but sometimes stuff that comes from Spastic or Smyrold get here in like two days so there's a chance it's gonna get here Saturday which means I'll just wait till Sunday to open up so that I can celebrate my Friday with a mystery box but the Smyrold one that's not shipping till Monday or Tuesday so Um, yesterday I opened up, I got, it's weird, I, I got a box from the Pop Couple. They did another, one of their surprise mystery boxes. And I bought one, and then I decided to buy another one. And, uh, Zombie and I opened, oh, I got mine, I got one yesterday, which was weird, because that was the first class postage. But then one of the other items was Priority. The Priority Mail one took an extra day to get here. So that's here right now. And I know what's in it, but I don't know which one of those is in it. And we'll talk about that after we get through these two other boxes, which I'm extremely, extremely excited about. We did get our Funky and Scrappy boxes quite a while ago. Opened them up. Good value. Made money. Well, broke even, basically. But the cool thing that it did do is somebody that bought one of those boxes pulled the gold sleeve stack, which is up here. And uh, I contacted that person because that was the one I wanted. That was the one I was hoping for the most. Well, to keep in my collection. Everything else is going bye-bye. But, so we traded. I got that. And then I did a search. Well, when I was checking the value on that, I saw that there were some other sleeve stack items and I was like well I need those now so I did a search on eBay found a guy who was doing an auction and he was selling two sleeve stack items so I bid on those I don't know we'll check the current PPG after we open these up but I ended up getting them for one dollar over PPG so Considering the fact that these are personal grails, not bad at all. So, let us reveal the new addition to the wall of grails. The grail wall. You ready? I am. Packaged very well. Sorters and bubble wrap, always a good thing. So let's see, the first one is, and in pop protectors, 
the slee stack. The New York Comic Con Fall Convention Slee Stack from Sid and Marty Croft's Land of the Lost. I used to watch this show religiously. I think I remember it saying that there was some minor box damage, but through the pop protector itself, this thing looks. Pretty mint. Slee sack. Yay. And a sorter. Are we out of focus? I can't tell. Oh. Now I know. All I gotta do is pause. That kinda makes it easier than all the little acrobatics I gotta go through. And the second is, I don't remember this character's name. Maybe he was a friendly slee stack. Enoch, same convention. So that's pretty sweet. Freaking slee stacks. Weird little alien dudes from the future in the past. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the values of these. They probably have not fluctuated, but you never know. Sleeve stack. Everybody spells sleeve stack wrong too. It's just a K, there's no CK. It's true. All right, sleeve stack is 33 bucks. The gold one has gone up $5, $5 which is cool. Um, the Enoch I should just put in Land of the Lost. Land of the Lost. Enix 18. Which that I think it might have gone down a few bucks. Oh, never mind. I think it went up. Because I remember the value being fifty dollars. Now it's fifty one. So sweet. Which is exactly what we paid for these. <coughs> so that's cool. Alright, the next box is from Funky and Scrappy. One of the things that was included in one of his boxes was a little ticket to trade. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to get this stupid pop-up ad off of my pop price guide because it's right smack dab in the middle of the search bar. Um, so we traded in a duplicate pop that I got and then he we talked about stuff and he's like well I'm going to send you something that I think you'll really like and I was like okay um, so, but this was only part of the trade I'm waiting on this to arrive before I showed these but I couldn't wait I had to open it up but we got a Mr. Freeze which is a Batman thing but I don't collect Mr. Freeze so this will be going away, maybe a giveaway, might just throw it into somebody's waff, I don't know, we'll see, but there's only like nine bucks in value, but then we do have this, which is staying in the collection, um, it's a pretty badly crunched up packaging, as you can see there's a pretty bad crease along there, and then the window itself has a little push in but we got the Batman to chase there's a little thing right there which I still haven't figured out what it is it's like a I don't know what it is 
But this thing had a value of like 18 bucks. Cool. Um, but then we got this to finish the ticket trade thing. Blurry again. I believe so. Like I thought I. This autofocus thing is tilt me like I was so excited when I thought I fixed it I mean I could hold something right up to the camera and then come back and boom it would refocus on me but it's it's glitching out again so I'm pretty excited about this I know what it is but you don't I've seen this a lot on searches Never really pulled the trigger. This is super cool. Very, very cool. Oh, and he, uh, he hurt my heart because he sent me, and it's, how ironic that we were talking about this. He sent me the sorter for the Chrome Mandalorian. got the Chase Batman robot. The regular version has part of his face in the mask, but the Chase is all a robot. So that's pretty sweet. It's from the animated series. I believe his value is like 26 bucks. Overall, that is irrelevant because I'm keeping it. Yep, Batman robot full metal head, 26 bucks. I'm going to add that to my collection. Yeah. Sweet. I can't wait to get my bookshelf because I don't have room for any of these pops anymore. I'm going to get a bookshelf that's going to go right here. Come up to about here. Come up to about here. Boom. Wall of pops. Batman robot will be on that wall of pops. Thanks, Funky. Alright, so this was the completion of the Pop Couples Mr. Box. $20 plus shipping. Guaranteed value of 21. This was the first pop that we pulled, who has a value of 22 bucks. 22 bucks. I have not watched Rick or Morty yet. I've heard it's a pretty good show. I might have to check it out. But I've gotten a lot of Rick and Morty pops, but they've all gone to somebody else because I just don't. He's holding a bucket of chicken. It glows in the dark. It was a Funko Shop limited item, which I'm pissed because I forgot to set my alarm yesterday or the day before when they released that uh, Skeletor pop. Uh, I'm pretty sure like people were able to get them. It took them like three or four minutes to sell out. So I would have got one, but people are selling those freaking things for $150, $175 right now. Whoops. Badly missed opportunity. So, alright, so when I saw my tracking information for the two pop couple boxes, I saw that one of them was ship priority. And the reason why is because it weighed over a pound. And I was like, I don't remember. Like, I need to go back and look at the picture of the pops that they had to see what one of these could possibly weigh over a pound. Well, there were two. They have two of the Futura Star Wars pops. One of them is the Jawa, which I already have. 
I wouldn't mind getting another one because it was really cool, but I would obviously sell it. Same with the other one. There's an R2-D2 Futura, which is not nearly as cool as the Jawa. Like, if I ever got an R2-D2 pop that I would consider keeping, it would either be the Christmas one, which I wouldn't consider keeping that. I would keep that. Any Christmas pops. If you guys have Christmas pops that you don't want, send them my way. I love Christmas pops. I want to decorate my little studio. Well, it's not really a studio apartment because um, it does have a bedroom, which I'm in. Um, but yeah, the wall will be all Christmas pops next holiday season, the upcoming holiday season. But uh, yeah, I, I like R2-D2 in his original white and blue colors. So let's see which one we got. These have a decent value, but that is mostly because they come in a hard stack. So we got more swag. Same swag as the first two. Which means, oh, and then there's, oh, there's a, forgot, there's a little mini figure too. Mini item. Bonus. Got another one of the hashtag blank pop couple stickers. We got another magnet, and we got another pen. We got three pens now. All right, let's see what this little uh, the fur the fur. Okay, we got a. I know what this is. I mean, I don't know what it is, but I know its history. They did a, a surprise mystery box earlier in the week for like $15 plus shipping. We got that. We pulled the top hole, which was awesome. It was a Mickey Mouse pop that had a value of like 40 something bucks. So that was a score. And then we got a pin out of there. That was something that they had picked up from their trip to Orlando earlier this year when the Emerald City Comic Con was canceled. So, there's another one. Now that is freaking awesome. How cool that we were just talking about R2-D2 in his original colors. And there we have an R2-D2 pin. And the cool thing about these is the backer is Mickey Mouse. So, that's awesome. That is super cool. And I hope that is an indicator of what the pop is. Alright, so we got two. We got a stack, and we did get the R2-D2. So that's cool. It's really picking up the glare with this hard stack. The Target exclusive R2-D2. If I remember correctly, every single one of these figure, the Futura figures, is slightly different than all the other ones. Maybe not. But yeah, so Futura. It's pretty cool. I love R2-D2. It looks like there's people. Is that Betty Boop? Is it Betty Boop right there? Maybe? I don't know. Pretty nice. They, they put the little stickers, uh, picture from Pop Price Guide when this went out the other day at a value of $28, and I believe it still does. Let's check it out. Let's see if you get the stupid pop-up ad off of my screen. Nope. What's up with 
top price guy doing these stupid pop-up ads. And right over the frickin' search bar. Come on, man. Well, let's do a search for R2-D2, because I'm kind of curious to see... There's a wacky wobbler. Hmm. It's kind of weird. What is that? It doesn't look like RTD2. So there's a Dagobah R2D2. It's kind of dirty and grungy. 16 bucks. Yeah, the future one, 28. No, the one that they have in the picture has like blues and reds in it. Mine looks like it's just straight up black and white. I don't know. Uh, I guess maybe I can see some reds. But yeah, 28 bucks. Let's see what kind of sales have been happening recently on that. Well, there haven't been any. Yeah, it's weird. There's a lot of color on the ones that are pictured here. So there are a lot of sales in May, and they're all $30, $31, $32, 25 at auction, auctions, just do that. Stay away from auctions on eBay. You don't ever make your value back, I don't think. Like, I, I did one time. Oh, there's the holiday R2-D2. He's got antlers with Christmas lights on them. I really want that, and those are super cheap. Those are like 10 bucks. so... Again, if you have any Christmas pops that you want to send my way, get a hold of me. They make nice gifts, or I'll buy them. Jabba's Skiff. Yep. Oh, so the reindeer one has a value of nine bucks, which is cool. But. So the common R2-D2 is 17 bucks. the OG 2013, it's kind of surprising. So I would like to have that. R2-D2 is one of my favorite characters from Star Wars. It's a cool little dude. That's sweet. That is super, super sweet. So thank you, Pop Couple. I enjoyed that box immensely. I look forward to your next one. We did pretty good today. We got the two Slee stacks. We got that awesome Batman robot. We got a $28 pop that we paid 20 bucks for, not including the shipping. So can't complain. It's a good day. I won't have anything else to open. No, that's not true. I have a couple of items that are, will be here tomorrow that I pre-ordered way back at the London Toy Fair. So, what was that, like the beginning of February? So I've been waiting for those. Oh, and speaking of waiting, freaking pop here. I ordered the Batman Funko pin from them. It's been released now for over a month, I believe. Like, I just... They're pretty nice people, but I won't ever pre-order anything from them again because they seem to be terrible at getting those products. I don't know why. I don't know why. But it takes them months to get items that have already been released, which I, I just don't, I don't know, I don't know. So I have talked to her and we are in agreement 
that if for whatever ridiculous reason they have not received any of them by July 1st that we're going to cancel my order because I want that thing. I don't want to, you know, I can go buy it right now from numerous sellers. So, all right. Well, that's going to be it. I can't wait to see the pops that are coming from Smile World. Not only the $25 mystery box, but also my pre-orders that will be arriving tomorrow. Pretty cool. So, we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night. Peace. Thank you.